Welcome guys. Today I will talk about Bimbet Kakyus, which were considered to be inhabited by humans for about 1 lakh years. Bimbet Kakyus represents a rare prehistoric rock art, one of the most ancient form in the world, yet in pristine state. In 2003, the caves were inscribed on UNESCO World Heritage site list. The caves located in a rather crowded part of India were discovered only as recently as 1958. These rocks are in different shape and name accordingly like mushroom rock and turtle rock. It took 16 years to excavate the area. The UNESCO citation declared the rock shelter of Bhimgetka as the World Heritage Site in 2003. However, it was first mentioned in the Indian archaeological record in 1888 as a Buddhist site. The entire region has more than 600 caves. Some of these caves preserve paintings that traverse various areas. There are enchanting rock paintings that date back to Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic period. Some of these paintings are huge linear figures which have now evolved to become smaller, shapely and more precise. The naturally formed sandstone rock shelters have been occupied from the lower Paleolithic until the medieval times. That's half a million years ago until about 2500 years ago. Right now only 15 caves are accessible to us according to the sources from mp tourism some of the caves were inhabited by humans for 1 lakh year some of the rock paintings here are from the stone age around 30000 years old the painting are executed in shade of red and white with occasional use of green and yellow while taking us further the rock sites are quite similar to the one at the kakadu national park australia paintings of bushmen in kalari desert and cave paintings in france the walk from cave 1 to 15 is like a film in itself the painting portrays everyday lives of the people who inhabited this place including hunting cooking eating animals symbols childbirth dancing burials and rites the animal that were part of the hunting scene includes bison tiger lion wild boar elephants and the lobs dogs lizards and crocodiles often the clarity of the image is just unbelievable the rocks themselves creates interesting shapes eroded by wind sun and rain in a palette ranging from purple to crimson and cream look out for the aptly named turtle rock similarly a shelter is named as auditorium which is 39 meter long and about 4 meter wide and 17 meter high it has four openings to each on east and west end and one shelter which has maximum numbers of animal painting is the zoo rock all the paintings vary not in formation but with colors too the earliest painting are in green and dark red mineral color showing hunting and dancing scenes revealing animals like the giraffe and the ostrich that are no longer found in the wild here Most paintings are in red and white, sometimes yellow and green, and range from scenes of hunting to drumming, dancing, cattle rearing, people wearing masks and riding animals in royal procession and worship ritual. Not to mention beautiful rendition of deer, peacocks, scorpions, crabs, and big cats. About twelve styles of two-dimensional paintings have been identified, from silhouettes to X-ray style drawing. and outlines filled in with geometric patterns there are also capsules cup shaped hollows in the rocks which some scholar considered the earliest signs of man's creativity as we moved along from one cave to another we slowly begin to understand how life would have been for what we simply synthetically term the early man they used to live along the cave shelter hunt in the nearby forest and prepare various tools for self protection from the wild All these activities have been shown in this fantastically preserved frescoes. The concept of living as a family also makes an appearance with images of children with their mothers and pregnant women with their husband. As society evolved, so did the rock painting. Religious symbols started making appearances. So did chariots and war processions, indicating the changing nature of life from the inhabitants of the area. The most amazing aspect of the painting is the wonderful state of preservation. Archaeologists are still trying to figure out how this painting have managed to withstand the furies of nature for so long, with some attributing it to the mysterious blend of colored earth, vegetable dyes, roots, etc. 
After taking the entire tour standing on those rock formations, one can gaze at wide stretches of the wildlife sanctuary. Looking out, one begins to imagine why this was an ideal settlement ground for the earliest inhabitants of our country. Only once you come here and experience the surrounding, you can begin to understand what inspired our ancestors to display their creative urges on the largest and the most natural of all canvases.